Hey, 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 everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. I know this is uh, a little late getting this stream uh, going, but um, I wanted to nevertheless get it done and get it out there. As always, I'd like to start off by thanking everyone. Um, of course, uh, fair use is up as always. Um, just want to let people understand about this guy. This guy is a puppet, like all of them. And this quote right here by Melissa Ford says a lot. If your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you are going to do a lot to get there, like sign your name in blood and a contract with the devil. And that's very, very true, guys. She's no hero. Um, giving you uh, some truth. Yes, absolutely. But um, no hero. This clown's showing up on Fox News. He's showing up on, I think, Glenn Beck. He's showing up on uh, Howard Stern. Um, what other show is he on? Infowars. Like I said, Fox News, ABC. And I mean, this guy's just a puppet. Now, I've had people write to me and write on my comment when I exposed, did a couple of exposed videos on him. People have said, Dan, you got to understand that he's just a puppet. I said, you guys don't understand. There are no puppets. And I mean, excuse me, I that's sorry. That was my comment that he was a puppet. The comment was they were like, hey, Flint Truth, you know, uh, um, you got to understand he's just uh, playing the game or whatever. And he's not a he's not a Satanist or whatever, this, that and the other. And I just kind of shake my head to the people that think that that are fooled that easily, you know, you know, especially people that claim to be true or you know, claim to have discernment. And there's so many people that fall for it, you know. I mean, you got truthers that, you know, believe in the Mandela effect, truthers that believe, you know, that the earth's round, you know. There's just so many psyops that's going on. Um, I even believe that there's a psyop going on in the Flat Earth uh, YouTube channels as well. Um, they all seem to be shills for the most part. Um, like I said, I'm having a hard time coming across any ones that are real in my book, but, uh, they're just controlled opposition. Like, just like this guy, that's why he's going on the news. And, uh, to me, it's really obvious to anybody that has eyes, you know, to see, you know, if you have any discernment, if you have any connection with our creator, Jesus Christ, uh, you can look right at this guy and it screams, you know, look at his all seeing eye right here, but him of all people, I mean, come on now. Like, it's obvious with this guy, like, he, there's so many, there's quote after quote where he said that he's a Gnostic and that, uh, you know, but there's also other quotes where he claims to be a Christian. And like I said, my main point in doing this video is to just suppose that he's just another actor like all the rest. He's doing the same hand symbol, symbols, the same hand signs, has the same logos as all the rest of the world talks the same. He's no different than anybody, anybody else, you know, he's no different than anybody else except for he doesn't come right out and tell you, yes, I serve Satan. Yes, Lucifer is God. Okay. He comes out and pretends a lot of times, like when he was on the Infowars shows, he was pretending like he was a Christian and he believed in God and him and Alex Jones were going basically bantering back and forth and Really, they're mocking the, the the sheep because these people are controlled oppositions, okay? Now, am I saying that they're never going to give you any truth? Now, of course not. Obviously, the best liars tell the most truth, right? So think about it. Like, if you're going to have someone that's going to be a big-time liar, he's got to put tell a lot of truth. Otherwise, people aren't going to believe him. So that's what these Mark Dices, Alec Jones, uh, all these big channels, um, that's who they are. You know, they have to control every aspect of society and YouTube is no different. Um, any of these people with big channels, you know, it should be common sense. It should be, you know, any with any amount of discernment should be able to look at Jaronism and say, Hey, that guy's, you know, a fake channel, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. There's so many of them we can name. Um, but a lot of people don't see it. And so that's why, you know, I'm basically, trying to do this stuff, you know, trying to put a lot of truth out there because, you know, yeah, the shills, they'll give you some truth, but they're not going to give you all the truth, right? They're gatekeepers. Uh, and, you know, they're made to make you believe that there's somebody that's going to shed a light on the truth. But basically, you know, same thing like Glenn Beck, you know, they're the whole, you know, somebody cares, you know, somebody's going to give us the truth. Somebody's going to uh, enlighten us. Somebody actually wants to uh, break down the system somebody's actually going to buck up against the system and 
these don't do that okay these guys are satan's puppets they make packs with satan for their worldly riches and gains and they don't forsake it okay all the people that say oh i'm a former satanist i'm former cia i'm former fbi never believe those people they're always still a cia they're always still fbi they're always still a satanist unless they can absolutely prove it and those are very 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 rare circumstances most people like i said are uh you know former the so-called former satanists you know once a satanist always a satanist is a saying you know once in the cia always in the cia you know once a spook always a spook and that's just the way it is so people need to understand that they're going to put their little puppets in the corner to make people believe that there is such thing as free you know freedom of the press and 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 you know all this you know these people that are going to go against and buck the system and it's going to you know do these investigations and shine some light on uh some of the stuff that's happening that's just not the way it goes here you got it this looks like and of course it's backwards right because satanists do things in reverse but it almost looks like uh the eye of horus or Ra, right but if you look closely what you have right there kind of uh ironic that he has a hexagram right on his wrestling belt right and if you guys know the hexagram is not the star of david okay that's a total lie i've, I've, I've totally rebuked that and rebuttaled that um so yeah she'll 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 sell out satanic sell out like i said um of course you got his tweet right here recognize this pin and that's the same thing i was just showing you guys right there uh that is not the star of david also, you have right here, it says, uh, since Albert Pike link, uh, link, uh, excuse me, since Albert Pike linked Baphomet with the goat of Mendes, it should also be noted that the way of, and it, and it doesn't come from Albert Pike anyways, by the way, the Bible mentions where the goat's on the left hand and the sheep on the right. Um, you know, they try to say, oh, it means this scapegoat and this Satan's this scapegoat and this, everything goes back to the Bible because these people are Satanists. Uh, it's like the lightning representation where it comes, it goes back to Luke, Luke chapter 18, where it says, you know, I beheld Satan, you know, fall like lightning when he was cast out of heaven. Uh, they get their um, symbology, you know, that's why they do the backwards satanic mass, right? They do their prayer in reverse. They do um, just everything in reverse. They're Satanists, and that's what Satanists do. Uh, that's the law um that was written for them that's how that they're trained and taught to do things so um 33 is the highest degree there is in freemasonry and that is totally not true 33 is the highest degree in the scottish right right until you want and there's other um branches and fraternal organizations and other things you can join such as shriners and a uh, lot of other things, you know, um, so yeah, these people are Satanists, but yeah, don't ever believe nobody when they say 33 is the highest degree in Freemasonry. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, it used to be back in the day, there was so much false on YouTube, like 2013, people trying to act like, you know, oh, about, free, you know, saying that they were acting like they were giving information about Freemasonry. And a lot of people, you know, oh, there, oh, there's 360 degrees in Freemasonry, or there's three degrees of Freemasonry. And, a lot of these times these people are mixing truth with lies, you know, but anyways, again, here you have his little uh, William Patrick Corgan. So you know that it's him. One day left, 20% off all William Patrick Kurt, uh, Corgan, excuse me, merch and free shipping on orders, $50 plus. Oh, what a nice satanic guy going to give free uh, shipping. Not. Nah. Anyways, you can see the occult symbols right on these balls. Like I said, on one of the videos, I actually, or one of these slides, I broke them down and showed you what they all meant. Clearly, because you got your little satanic bath from it. It's kind of hard to see in this picture what it's, what the green one is, but you can see right here what they all are um, without the light's reflection. I tried to make sure that I put that in there. Of course, here you again, you got your little bath from it, your little Satan, you know, this is his shirt. This is his, his clothing line that he's, moving but no he's he's no he's no satanist here he is doing the baphomet salute william patrick corrigan um uh, i don't know what that first word is something to Co corrigan texas and make them change the name drop the r and the i get the party plan i don't know what he's saying anyways but of course he's doing the baphomet salute and it says uh oh he's holding his finger too over where it says so that way it can just say Corgan, his last name. And he's noticed doing the Baphomet salute. 
Same thing you see here with this false Christ, this antichrist right here. Uh, same thing you see this antichrist doing. Same thing you see this the, the Pope, Pontifical Pope. Same thing you see the Baphomet doing right here. Same thing you see this you see this uh, saint doing right here. I'm not exactly sure who it's supposed to be, if it's supposed to be Moses. But anyways, they're all Satanists, guys. Here again, they're, they're another antichrist. Don't ever let me tell you guys that this is Jesus Christ either, by the way. This is not Jesus Christ, okay? It's a sin for them to depict what the Godhead looks like, okay? So uh, they can't make a picture of the Godhead. It would be a sin for one. Two, uh, the Bible strictly forbids long hair on a man, okay? Long hair is for a woman. It's spiritual covering. It is not for a man. It's strictly highly forbidden. So obviously Jesus would not have had long hair, okay? So let's keep it moving. Um connect the dots for you guys a lot of times people get mad because they're like oh well you just play a music a lot of times in your videos and it's like my videos you know i try to make them for the even the un you know un i don't want to say unintelligent person but you know for the person that's not uh this new you know to the truth game i, want, I try to make my videos where they can understand um so um, i'm sorry if it's if you feel like it's too dumbed down for some of you people, like, uh, duh, we all know this or whatever, I apologize. Like I said, I'm trying to, uh, you know, be able to a beginner, make it for a beginner can understand it, try to have some courtesy for, uh, you know, my people, my younger viewers that, uh, I, well, I shouldn't say younger, but just the viewers that are younger in their journey, I guess I'll say. So, again, you have his Shriner belt buckle. So, of course, you got him doing the devil horns. And the guy he's with in this picture that I cut out right here where I put the tweet over, he's doing the devil horns with him. But, look, yes, obviously the devil horns. Now people can say, oh, that means rock on. No, first of all, it doesn't mean rock on. I've done a whole expose. If you're new to my channel, check it out. On Helen, um, Helen Keller, the lady who come up with that. She was a high-level occultist. That means I love you, Satan, okay? I've exposed that. She was a member of the Theophysical Society. Uh, just like uh, Helena Blavaska, Blavaska was, um, they started several satanic fraternal organizations. They were absolutely occultists and satanists. And Helen Keller herself said, Lucifer is the god of this world and the only god. So um, people that think that she's not um, a sellout, they're, they're, they're crazy, okay? She's propped up in her little thing, her little... Um, She's promoted because she was a Satanist. She was a high-level occultist. That's how she wrote the language. And yes, um, what do you call it? I'm sorry. The devil horns means I love you, Satan. But not only that, he doesn't have his thumb out. And if you guys have ever watched that interview with Antave from the 60s, he clearly shows you the two, um, the difference. You know. So anyways, I don't want to waste too much time because like I said, I don't want to make this video go too long. Of course, you see William Patrick Corgan, why it's circled here. Um, and you see what Instagram slash uh, Uga -la -la -la, and you guys see what is pictured below. You got the double cross of Lorraine right here. You got your pyramid with your, your, your pyramid or your um, diamond or your triangle, whichever you want to call them. Call it, excuse me, it's a very powerful spell casting symbol. You got your earth, fire, and water. Okay, very, very powerful, very ancient uh, spell casting symbol, just like a circle within a circle or, um, or a pentagram with a circle around it, whether it's inverted or, um, you know, whether it's upright or downright, it doesn't matter. Okay, here you have your Freemason logo. You got your Shriner buckle here, double horn here. And your Freemason loner uh, logo tweet by William Patrick Corgan. Yeah, of course he's not a, a Satanist. No, of course not. Of course not. This is his William Patrick Corgan load. And look, it's a square encompassed with what? The keys to the after, because the Bible says, you know, the, the door to heaven, right? And it says that no man can come up the back door the back way, right? With those Masons where they try to come up the ladder, right? The whole Freemasonic, uh, excuse me, Freemasonic ladder with the key. Uh, that, that's basically, you know, the key to the afterlife for them. Uh, they think that he's gonna, he's got the keys to the afterlife when he doesn't. And also, um, as you can see, the Polaris up here, 
as RV did a great study on RV Truth, Russian Vids, if you guys aren't um, familiar with him. Um, he's the only person really that I've watched consistently over the past few years now. I'm going to say this now, and I'm going to say it about every, uh, and this goes for anything or anybody, because we need to use discernment, okay? Um, understand that, like I said earlier, there's people like Mark Dice, a call for an uprising, uh, KJ's What's Happening, Jaronism, Rose 77, Conspiracy Castle, Richie from Boston, and so on and so on. They're all controlled opposition, guys. Now, does that mean everything that they do is crap and tainted? No, it doesn't necessarily mean everything they do is crap and tainted. It just means those guys are controlled oppositions. They're government agents. They're put there for a reason to give you only so much truth and to also mislead you, to keep you sidetracked, to keep you baby truthers. That's the whole term, uh, whole point why RV came up with that term. Now, use discernment with everyone, okay? Pray about people, ask the Lord to reveal things to you. And if you ask the Lord, you know, for truth, the Bible says he will give you truth, you know. So, um, and, and um, it's important to make sure that we study, right? It's important that we study God's word and that we're, we're having that relationship and that connection with, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Very, 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 very important. I can't stress that enough. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Uh, like I said, this guy is, you know, we're going to slice and dice him up. And I don't I don't mean that, like, uh, physically. I just mean, like, as far as, like, uh, we're going to expose him. You know what I mean? We're going to get down to the nitty gritties. We're going to go through all of this stuff. William Patrick Corgan. Right here you have the Shriners logo with the star, the moon, the pentagram, the stars and the moon. Excuse me, I said that backwards. The moon, the stars, or pentagram, and of course, the sword for cutting off all heretics' head. And you have the broken crow's foot right there. Now, William Patrick Corgan. This is his logo. Again, you have the sword, the shiner sword. Look, same thing. It's just upside down. You see how he made it uh, going the other way? He has it going upside down. Crescent moon, same thing. He switched it upside down. Now, I showed you guys his belt buckle, his Shriner belt buckle, proving that he's a Shriner Mason. But right here proves it, again, because look at his star and star. So you got your moon stars, your little sword for cutting off heretics' heads. That's what they believe. And here, again, William Patrick Corgan, the Oogalala tour, or if I didn't say that right, whatever, so be it. Um, and again, you have your sword, moon and pentagram moon and stars and sword so for anyone that has eyes to see knows exactly what he's doing here of course obviously with the circles within a circle also it looks like a labyrinth uh, so there's just so much going on here guys uh this guy is a satanist and occultist and people need to understand that here's another shriners logo right here with the actual uh templars um little logo right there the Maltese cross or whatever they call it I'm not really I don't I don't, I don't think no excuse me I'm not sure if that's the right name but it's also if you guys know it's a pyramid um, a 3d pyramid basically folded out so again these people are, are just occultists okay here he is doing the diamond sign right not no different than anybody else that is doing the diamond even Dora this lady right here we all know who she is here, you got Diamond Dallas, okay? This has been around for a long, long time. Neither one of these guys invented it. Uh, Jay-Z didn't invent it, and Dallas Diamond didn't invent it, okay? They're nothing more than puppets, okay? They're given this. Here he is, 666, Mark of the Beast, vintage 1990s 666, archaic, smile shirt, smashing pumpkins, Billy Corgan tour concert. Beelzebub, right? The Lord of the Flies, 666. Um, without zooming in close, I can't see if that's a double cross of Lorraine, which it looks like, or if it's an anchor. Uh, either way, both occultic. Um, again, you see the 666 on the sleeves, 666 in the front. Yeah, right. Give me a break, guys. This guy is satanic as it gets, okay? 
not only a Freemason, he's a Satanist right here. That's why he's hanging around this guy who is an open Satanist. Okay, you guys need to understand there's open Satanists, there's closet Satanists, okay? It's just like with the with the Masons, okay? They have Masons have every set of people too, okay? Whether it's bikers, you know, there's light clubs that are Freemasonic. There's just guys, okay, there's open people that do it. It's like, you know, there's police, you know, there's police Masonic, there's people that are openly satanic and there's privately satanic, okay? They're puppets and roles, and they're obviously the more they glorify Satan, the more they're going to get. So this guy is an open Satanist, and it's, it was just like I did the video with Johnny Depp. Now, Johnny Depp has the same cross of Lorraine as um, Marilyn Manson does, and they hang out together. They're best friends. They're wearing the same rings, same Satanic cross of Lorraine rings when he's an open Satanist, and he's got free Masonic ring. Uh, ring. He's a, he's a Freemason. And a Satanist, devil worshiper, even though he claims not a devil worshiper, but we all know that they're devil worshippers. You can't be a Mason to, uh, and not believe in a God, okay? And I'm sure that he didn't call on Jesus Christ when he, and <laughs> so, and since he's a Shriner, he probably called on Allah. But you see the one eye symbolism right there, right? You see the darkened eye, the eye closed, the, the satanic hands gesture right there. He's got his little Z right there, okay, for those of you know that know what that means. Of course, you can dress right here as a Catholic priest because, well, why not? Because what's the difference, right? Um, and you got Marilyn Manson, who's an open Satanist, and he's obviously mocking Christianity. Now, to me, Catholic, Catholicism uh, isn't Christianity, okay? Now, a lot of people are deceived and they're lost. Um, doesn't mean they're bad people um, or nothing like that. Like I said, um, some people are um, um, deceived. Got to understand that this guy's not deceived. But I mean, I'm talking about in the Catholic Church in the religion, right? Now, obviously, I think that the religion is not right. But I think there's a lot of people that are probably great people that are Catholic. They're just deceived, right? Unfortunately, you know. They're looking for the truth, and Satan put a spell over them, and they're basically spellbound. Uh, now, I pray for those people. I don't pray, you know, I pray for their salvation. I don't pray for their damnation like some people do, like maybe a Stephen Anderson or a uh, Brian Denlinger, okay? That's satanic. That's heresy. You don't pray for someone's destruction and someone's demise. Uh, that's just wrong. That's evil, Uh well, someone's alive, there's always uh, time for them to repent and um, turn from their ways. But anyways, I want to get back to what I was saying real quick so we can finish this up. He's mocking so-called Christianity. That's why he's got the cross, what they killed Christ on. And you see him dressed there. And obviously, Marilyn Manson's dressed clearly satanic. So again, it says William Patrick Corrigan from the William Patrick Corrigan slash Smashing Pumpkin Textile Archives, one of two from the... Ooh, I don't know what to say. Ooga la la era based on an 1800s Freemason hat. So you see the one eye symbolism, right? The all seeing eye of Lucifer, right? And he took this picture intentionally with one eye at CBS with the one eye symbolism, right? Of course, this is the hat up close. And of course, he's got his little um, satanic little witch's symbol right here. His little um, spell casting, um, I forget what those are called. Uh, every time I'm live, it's like hard for me to think because I feel like I only got a few seconds to think. So I don't actually really get back into my brain to think about what, you know, what that is. But um, anyways, you guys see the all seeing eye here. You see the, obviously the pyramid, right? The diamond. Uh, same thing he's got going right here, the pyramid with the all-seeing eye right there, of course, enlightened uh, outside of it, right, with the silver and black cover coloring, right? No, um, of course, got the little witch's swirl on this too. So uh, by no means is this accident or, you know, it's coincidence, it's intentional. Of course, He's no different than all these puppets, guys. They're all puppets, right? Hell is empty and all the devils are here, right? And 
The reason why they serve Satan, because people ask me all the time, well, why would they do that? Why would they serve Satan? That makes no sense. I'll tell you exactly why. And it makes sense if uh, money and worldly things are your end goal in life. Okay, if that's your what you would strive for, then you will do a lot of things. You will do anything, in fact. And selling your soul is no different. So that's what these people do. They sell their soul to Satan. Satan is the God of this world, according to the Bible, until Jesus returns. There's a such thing as free will, right? The Lord's not going to intervene uh, in this time in, in, in right now, okay? Not until Jesus returns and takes back his throne and becomes king of kings, Lord of lords, um, will he be in charge of this planet, and then we will, he will reign. We, we, as Christians, the body of Christ, saved body of Christ, will, will reign with him for a thousand years, right? Or going up to heaven but um what i was saying is that there's a bible verse that where it says um satan tried tempting jesus christ with all the riches and world kingdoms he could bring them to the highest mountain bring them to the top of the mountain the highest you know top of the world showed him all the mountains or excuse me showed him all the kingdoms forever that were ever going to be made from the beginning of time to the end of time showed him everything you know all the everything that was going to be you know made in satan's name and if jesus would just get down and bow down to him he would satan would give jesus all the more all the worldly kingdoms all this everything right of the world and what jesus christ say he said get behind be satan you know um so point is guys that if this was not satan's world if he wasn't in charge for the time being then he would not have been able to offer it to jesus christ if jesus christ would have just bowed down and worshiped him and he said no obviously jesus christ said no we're to only worship our lord that god only right so and obviously he didn't do that um uh, but anyways jesus and that and, and ladies and gentlemen let's just be honest that that um offer is still good today okay it wasn't just for jesus christ it's for anybody that wants to serve satan if you want are willing to serve him glorify him uh live for him then he will bless you with worldly riches and worldly fame which is what he is in charge of what he is in control of this is his, his world so understand that um money being rich is not what god wants for you that's not what jesus wants for you okay money is the root of all evil he doesn't want you to be rich and famous and successful that's the last thing god wants and it says in the bible that it's uh, basically impossible for a rich man to make it to heaven because the things he has to do to get that money to get in those spots and to create that wealth um basically um you know makes them live a rotten horrible life and most of the time those people don't repent don't have a uh, have no sanctification in their life no change of life and they don't call on to the lord to be saved and they go to hell and be damned so it's important that we're uh, shining a light on these guys and, and it's important that we're letting people know why these people do it they take packs with the devil for worldly fame and fortune um and if you glorify him, if you honor him, you can be successful. That's why they're all doing the same thing. The devil horns here. That's what these are. And it doesn't matter the faith, religion, whether it's presidents, uh, movie stars, you know, can um, political campaigners. Um, at, you know, they're all actors, guys. At, at the end of the day, that's all these people are. The world's a stage, and they're all actors. They're tricking people. That's what it's all about. It's all about um, fooling the masses. They take oaths of silence never to reveal their secrets, never to reveal their secrets to the public, okay? So you think that they're going to tell you the truth? No. All those people on the news, they've all taken satanic oaths to never tell you the truth. You will never get the truth from any of these guys. And here, he does it as soon as he can because he's no different than any of the rest, guys. Satanic model, just like I was saying you guys earlier, Train himself to think backwards. Let him learn to write backwards. Let him learn to walk backwards. Let him learn to listen to phonograph records in reverse. Let him practice speaking records. And let him practice to read backwards. And of course, you see Z-E-R-O here, his, his brand. And then you see it, obviously, in verse right here. Z-E-R-O, his band. And 
you know the picture is not in reverse because you see the National Wrestling Alliance is the right way in the background. So very important to understand that, to know that this picture hasn't been tamped with, tampered with or anything like that. Um, I haven't even really touched on him, the National Wrestling Alliance thing, where we all know that's fake and it's part of keeping people dumbed down and docile and keeping them entertained, you know, just like Caesar did, same thing sports are for. Um, that way nobody's going to be sitting there doing research and information. People's attention span is so short. And people like me who really have a love for Jesus Christ, who really have a love and passion for putting the, the truth out, um, people are never going to support me, someone like me. They're never going to let a channel like mine get big where I can actually get some views out there to actually get the truth out to people because they don't want that. That's against their motto. And they made sure that they made algorithm uh, to make sure it blocks that. And they make they have their gatekeepers and all these people that are spying and reporting uh, everything and anything they hear of what, um, you know, somebody that's putting the truth out there does, someone like me. So understand Satanists do things in reverse, okay? Again, you see a very clear shot of the Shriner belt, proud Shriner Billy. Absolutely he is. You can see with this post right here, Hail the Wounded Stars, Hiding Ageless Art. That's what that says. Again, the square and compass, the pentagram, the pyramid or the triangle, the double cross of Lorraine. Okay, guys? Understand what you're looking at. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I meant to go right here and show you him doing the shh. They all take an oath of silence. Like I told you guys earlier. As a matter of fact, if you guys are unfamiliar with their oaths, go check out my free Masonic uh, exposed. I exposed the, the, the oaths they take in the first three degrees. And that will tell you um, the blood curling oaths these people take that... Um, they will never tell you the secrets. And they're all doing the same thing because they're all in the same club. Here you have, look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's no different. And you guys think they're going to tell you the truth. Give me a break. Look at this right here. He's got a light bulb. This is a light bulb cross. So Lucifer is the fake light bearer. And so this is a cross, and Lucifer is the light bearer. So he's letting you know that Satan is his light bearer. That's his cross. That's his religion. He's also dressed in black, all black, with the black and white dual symbolism, also with a blood red background, right? Here you have him with the pentagram, with the hands up and down, right? As above, so below. Um, again, same, same star here as here satanic so they're all satanic you know doing the devil horns doing the cross just like i was showing you guys earlier the x these x the x symbolism exposed go check out my video if you don't know what that is he's got the his little pharaoh here his little 666 his little uh i mean it's all occultic if you guys i don't want i'm trying to go through this quickly so again you see his little blast uh black mask guy right here you know, satanic black mass, right? With his little, uh, little black sun behind him with the black hole sun with the illuminating the rays. You can see the way he's dressed with the uh, snakes over here and the crescent moons. I mean, you can see the upside down crosses. Just look at the eyes, right? Look at the eyes and the hands. And also you got Satan's lightning bolt. Satan represents lightning. Again, more lightning, William Patrick Corgan, one-eyed symbolism, pyramid, okay? Here he's uh, posting about, you know, this is all occultic, guys. I shouldn't have to explain everything. Here he's got his Freemasonic square and compass uh, live at the Masonic Lodge in Hollywood. So, but no, he's no Mason. No, he's no Satanist. Uh, you guys watch. He said he planned on writing songs called um, 33, 66, and 99. All occultic numbers. Uh, again, you got the crescent mood with the upside down ghost right here. This is Billy Corgan. This is his vinyl. Okay. With the bats and the lightning. Right. 
Do you got I mean are you not seeing it? I mean look look at it. It's all satanic. Uh, all of it. 33 33 prompt ideas will be posted over the next few weeks. Share the corresponding song or lyric, William Pat because again, 33 the highest degree in Freemasonry before you move on. The reason why it's touted as though you know they love 33 um it's for the several several reasons but mainly that that's when you're told that lucifer is the light bearer lucifer is the god of this world again here you have william patrick corgan one of two hats is a freemason hat here's the hat here's a close-up of that little witch's swirl i was showing you guys earlier uh, again the all-seeing eye uh, so no denying it occultic route 66 with the black and white checkered symbolism checkerboard symbolism uh route 66 like i told you he wanted to write songs 33 66 and 99 um so and here of course um these people are just ridiculous between this and this you get 666 so you get your 666 and then what's left 666 i mean come on now devil horns here he's not only doing the devil horns but he's connected two devil horns to make a pyramid as he's doing the devil horns on that side and he's doing the devil horn here so again there's satan's puppets he's satan's puppet and there's more satan's puppets okay that's what they are again doing the vulcan b salute a little fake fake uh fake little peace sign which everyone knows that knows anything about the Bible knows when the, the the Antichrist is the one who promises peace. Okay, it's not Jesus Christ. When when peace is comes, it's cause when the Antichrist comes, which is who he works. Six six six. Of course, the shh, devil horns. Right? Come on now, guys. I know you're seeing it. I know you're seeing it. Again, like I showed you guys earlier, the occultic Lucifer is a light bearer, uh, and it's in the shape of a cross, like I was showing you guys earlier. Uh, hanging out with fellow Satanists, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Look at the black and white picture behind him. A little labyrinth behind the little. But of course, now these guys are open Satanists, but he's not a Satanist. He's just friends with them. Let me tell you something. Satanists hang around other Satanists. Masons hang around other ma Masons. Satanists promote other Satanists. Um, and Masons promote other Masons. And, you know, in other free masonic or other secret society other fraternal organizations because there's not just the free masonic lodges there's more here's his quote he says guide not savior i was raised catholic and when you tell people that in modern america it becomes guilt by association where the sins of the church and they are legion become of you yet many are surprised to hear that i rejected the church at age eight at age eight he rejected the church so for him to say he was, uh, his parents were a lot, probably Catholic Jesuits, I would imagine, to be at, to reject Christ at eight years old. And that is no lie. Now, I'm no theologian, but my knowledge, uh, to my knowledge, Jesus Christ never spoke of forming a church headed by an anointed pope. Yeah, not only that, the pope thinks that he's Jesus Christ on earth. So the Catholic Church is uh, outrageous. And it's just there to... Um, make religion look bad catholic church is the one that created a lot of a lot of the religions too to distort people they've been behind a lot of uh a lot of behind of a lot the catholic church is is uh is babylon to be honest with you but um, it is what it is billy corgan i was raised cat oh let me finish reading this yet he uh did muse how communion uh excuse me yet he did muse how communion with one another or with Mother Nature. Of course, these people all worship Mother Nature. All these Satanists, they all are worship Mother Nature. Would help you find salvation. And so in that, I accept Jesus as my guide. There's the key word, guys. Guide, not Savior, not Lord and Savior, as his guide. He's a liar. And light out of darkness, which is, yeah, Freemasonic, which, if you are looking for classification, makes me more of a Gnostic or pagan than a Christian. So this guy just told you that he accepted Jesus as his guide. So people are going to say, oh, he's a Christian. And this is why I'm doing this video. Exactly why I'm outing him, because he's not a Christian. He just told you he's a Gnostic or a pagan. That's not Christian. That's against 
They will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. It says right in the Bible. Billy Corgan reveals how Jesus helped him avoid suicide. Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan Frontman has posted the following on Instagram. I was raised classically. And when people tell you in a modern America, it becomes guilt by association. Yeah. Catholic, imagine that. Now, Gnostic pagan. Again, the Shriner Freemasonry. We've already touched on that. So, was that it? Yep. Okay. So, that's it for the screen share here. Let me see the comments. I apologize. How you doing, Tony's Cafe? What's up with you? All right. Let me show you guys. Let me do the screen share. This guy's been on Fox News. He's been all over. Give me a break. Super Christ. This is his all-seeing eye right here. Look, skull right here, of course, with his snake. Okay. Got his little phoenix rising with his little pentagrams. Okay. None but a cultic. Um, of course, right? The Bible says that uh, all that hate me. Jesus Christ is talking. All they that hate me, um, hate, excuse me, all they that hate me love death. And it's kind of obvious that these people are obsessed with death, you know, specifically the Catholic Church, man. They're obsessed with all their catacombs and stuff like that. Again, the pentagram with the, um, their little goddess. I'm not sure who they said that was. He, he said who that was before, whether it was Diana or I'm not sure. Again, do you see the pentagram smashing pumpkins? Come on now. Trying to hide it. Now here again, you got your smashing pumpkins. You got your Aborus or your um, dragon swallowing its tail. But this isn't just that. This is actually more powerful. When you have the two dragons right here meeting at each other, uh, this is a very... Um, occultic, say old titanic symbol. Matter of fact, let me see if I can go. I should have actually already looked it up and had it ready for you guys. See if I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just give me one second. Yeah, very, very occultic, and it, it goes back a long, long way. All right, let's see if I can screen share this real quick. Let's just read it, actually. Ouroboros or Euroboros is an ancient symbol depicting a serpent or a dragon eating its own tail. The Ouroboros entered Western tradition via ancient Egyptian iconography. iconography excuse me. Isn't it kind of funny how it all goes back to the Egyptian or Babylon or Babylon, Babylonian or Greek Empire? I mean, it all goes back. Um, or the Persian. I mean, it all goes back to all these occultic empires, right? Babylon. So it's adopted by a symbol in Gnosticism and Hereticism. Uh, and most notably in alchemy. Okay, right there. Alchemy, guys. You guys know exactly what alchemy is. Okay, that should be a key word to trigger you guys to know it. Uh, it's occultic and satanic. The term derives from ancient Greek. The Ouroboros is often interpreted as a symbol uh, for eternal recycle, uh, cycle, renewal, or a life of cycle, death, and rebirth. Again, and the snakeskin uh, swathing symbolizes the trans transmigration of souls. The snake biting its own tail is a fertility symbol. In some religions, the tail is a phallic symbol, and the mouth is a yonic or womb-like symbol. So that will explain exactly what you were looking at right there on top of, do you have the pentagram, not pentagram, I'm sorry, the hexagram, which is two triangles um, intertwined. And if you guys know, watch my video, obviously you guys know from this symbol, you can pull out a lot of symbols. Not only is it obviously two triangles, uh, which triangles um, themselves are very powerful spell casting symbols on their own. And, um, again, like I said, I believe it. I, and I said this in the video that I made, um, with the hexagrams, I believe that this will have something to do with the mark of the beast, um, in the end days, 
Um, and if you're not familiar with what I said, go check that video out. I won't spoil it. Smashing Pumpkin, again, number 33. We know how these occultists are obsessed with the number 33. He's got his goddess of Columbia with his sun worship right down here with the torch of enlightenment, right? These people are um, a Satanist, and I just want people to understand that. Like I said, he would not be put on the mainstream news. Ashton Pumpkin's machine of the machines of God. Uh, I mean, if you guys just can't look at that, and, and you know, I mean, come on now. Look at this little sun worship again with a circle within a circle. You get your 666 right here. here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's three sixes there. And then this would be this. Also, you get the triangle right there. They hide as much as they can in here. Now, I know this because I've seen the, um, there's another version of this. You guys go look it up. You can see a little bit better copy where a lot of the details are a little bit more uh, ingrained and you can see there what that is. But yeah, like I said, this guy isn't uh, fooling anybody. So I thought it was important to anyways get the truth out there about this guy because a lot of people look to this guy they see him on info wars and they you know obviously anybody that should be a, a dead giveaway of its own anybody that's on info wars i mean come on now the guy alex jones is controlled opposition alex jones equals 33 in numerology info wars equals 33 in numerology he admitted that his dad's a high level cia agent that he had all you know and, and a Freemason, and that when they had parties, there was so many secret service men, and, and, and you know, blah, blah, blah. We know, anyways, that he's controlled opposition. And that was what the whole point of him breaking into, so called breaking in and, and, and crashing the uh, Bohemian Grove party. That was a whole, that was set up, that allowed to happen. Um, what was happening? They seen the writing on the wall. Okay, all, all these things are planned in advance, okay? And they knew that the internet was going to be coming a powerful symbol. They obviously knew that YouTube was going, or a platform like YouTube was going to be put into existence. And they knew that there was going to be people trying to put information there. And they obviously had to be in front of that. So the way they did that, obviously, is they wanted to put somebody like, they said, hey, we're going to need a gatekeeper. We're going to need somebody that's going to, you know, like Mark Geis, you know, that we can pretend like he's a truther and that he's going to give all these people all this secret knowledge of like uh, like Bill Hicks or, you know, Jordan Maxwell, right? And in reality, he's controlled opposition. He's only going to tell you what they want you to know. He's, you know, and he's obviously going to mix in misinformation. That's what these controlled opposition jobs, jobs for. So he broke into Bohemian Grove basically to get some reputation. Like, yeah, this guy is telling the truth. He actually cares about the people. He's going to shed some light. Uh, you know, and people want to believe that, you know, just like want to turn on the TV and believe the people on the news. They want to believe those things. They want to believe that their doctors don't lie to them, you know, and a lot of times, you know, it's not always out of malice. Some of those people like teachers, you know, not all the teachers are in on the scam. You know, a lot of them, they've just been lied to their whole life. Right. And they've been taught the same textbooks and they're just repeating the same lies that they've been taught. So being deceived doesn't necessarily make you a bad person. Right. A lot of these people are uh, maybe okay people, but they're lost, you know, they're not saved, which, you know, obviously we, you know, we want them to be saved. So we, we obviously pray for them, but understand guys that people like Bill Hicks or Alex Jones or whoever that he is, I know a lot of people that claim that he's Bill Hicks. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, you know, only God knows, but I do know that he's controlled opposition and I do know that he was allowed to break into that bohemian grove nobody else had been able to get in they got security up the yin yang nobody else has been able to do it since or before then uh and i you know what i mean it was it was allowed to happen it was contrived he was let in there you know there's no way that he would have had all that footage and had all you know come on now you're not fooling me and then all of a sudden he gets this big show and he's on fox news and then now all of a sudden they're claiming he's he's bankrupt and something his wife and then uh, he supposedly he lost his show, his, his show all because he mentioned what happened in Colorado. Give me a break, people. Like use some discernment. Same thing with Mark Dice, right? They're laughing. They're laughing. That's what they're really doing in reality. You know, 
Again, if you guys don't know the X symbolism, I explain it all in the video that I've done exposing the X. Uh, kind of reminds me of that Jamie Kennedy show, You've Been X. You guys remember that show? Uh, I guess if you're a little younger, younger people, you probably don't. Again, you got the Anibis right here. Billy Cole at Corrigan, blinking with fit. Okay, all these people, they're obsessed with Egypt and Babylon and Oath of Silence. So, like I said, I think we pretty much covered the majority of this guy. Again, you see his little pyramid right there, his little triangle. Um, I got some other stuff I'm working on, so I'm not going to waste too much time on this guy. I think that's it for, I mean... I'll, really, the rest of the stuff I was going to show you was just clips of him being like on Fox News and him being on certain news website, or excuse me, news. Um, I don't know how you say that. Being on certain news shows, I would say. It'd be him being on certain news shows. And um, really, you know, a lot of times he's doing the 666 or, he's, you know, he's doing the diamond, the pyramid, or he's doing the double horns, you know, letting you know he's a cultic. But people will fight with you, like I said. And that this that was the reason why I did this is because I had mentioned him in the video. And I had somebody comment on my um, video, which is fine. I welcome all opinions and I welcome all comments, you know, criticism included. Um, you know, as long as you're not being rude or you're not trolling nobody or cussing and swearing or saying anything blasphemous, you know, I leave people's comments up. There was a time for a while where I didn't, I, I, I set them down and blocked them, you know, uh, comments for a while where I had to prove but that just made too much work. And you know what? Um, like I said, as, as long as aren't blaspheming or, you know, cussing and swearing or, or trolling, you know, I'm okay with it. Um, but, yeah, anyways, I had somebody that commented and they said, hey, understand that he's just playing the game. Billy's no Satanist. Uh, he's just playing the game because he knows what he's got to do to sell records. And to me, like, that just screams baby truther. And it shows that you don't understand the name of the game that these people have to sell out. And again, you see the triangle right here, but you see the little enlightened event showing you that he's the enlightened one of the group. Just like when you look at the, the Catholic pictures of the Trinity or the Christ, I, I call him the Antichrist, but they call him the Christ. Uh, he's definitely not Jesus Christ, which I've already talked about earlier in this video. But you can see his enlightenment right there. He's showing you that he's enlightened, just like, they have on the Christ, the little fake Antichrist. So, but um, yeah, guys, these guys they take satanic oaths and packs, and you don't, you can't just trick Satan. You can't just say, oh, "I'm just gonna play the game just to fool Satan." Oh, I'm just gonna fake sign a pack with him. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. Understand, the world is a stage, okay? And the people that own and control this world, they all worship Lucifer, and they own and control all the major television television networks. All the, I'm going to say all. They own all the television networks, even the small ones, and they own all the um, internet. They own everything. So do you think you're going to get promoted? You're, you're going to allowed to get uh, big, famous, have your content, your book read, your anything, your video seen, anything, uh, unless you sell out to them. No. Okay? Whether, it's, whether you want to be an actor or become a musician – you can have all the talent in the world. Talent has nothing to do with it. Now, obviously, you have to have something to offer Satan. Now, obviously, you know, I, they do take a lot of people that can't sing, but usually you have to have something to offer. You know, you have to be able to act. You have to be able to a good musician, play guitar, something. And then if you're willing to glorify Satan and sell out, be a, you know, become a part of the secret fraternal organizations, then they'll promote you. If you're somebody like me, who would never do that, who, who you know, is disgusted by that, who's a follower of Jesus Christ, who does what you're supposed to, um, you're not going to be promoted. You know, you see my videos. I don't get any views. I know how to tag videos. I know exactly how to do the same thing that everybody else does that has big successful channels, you know. Um, my my videos that I make aren't crap. You know, I, I put some time into them. Uh, my programs that I, I use cost me money. So, um why, you know, the reason why, and to me, I just want to throw this out there too. It doesn't matter if one person or a thousand people see, obviously the more, the more people, excuse me, or for a thousand people see my work to me, um, just want, you know, like I said, if one person can be saved, 
that's enough for me, you know? 50 people seeing my videos and be waking up, that's amazing. I love that. But like, obviously I said, the more the better. If I could get a thousand views, that would be wonderful, uh, you know? Because the more people you reach, the more chances do you have to open up their eyes, the more chances you have to show them the truth. And um, a lot of people, like I said, you can't talk, tell them things. They, you can't reason with them. You have to show them. And it's hard to show people proof because people's attention spans are so short. People won't give you the time of day. So uh, understand that these people are puppets. You're not fooling Satan. Uh, when you take a pact or you take an oath, uh, you take a, a pact or an oath till death. Now, do, remember I saying now, if you sign up for that, take one of them oaths or pacts, you know, are you damned for life? No, the Bible says don't take any oaths. Let your yes be yes and let your no be no. But um, that, you know, that doesn't mean you're damned for life. You can still repent if you're alive. You can still change, right? You can, there's still time. So again, as I was showing you right here, here's the enlightened right there. So, but you can see they're doing the same thing right here with this. So again, guys, this is a cultic. It's satanic. He's no different than all the other puppets, okay? I'm not the Messiah. I'm just some dumb guy from the West or whatever it says down there. And yeah, okay? Look at his, the way he's got his arms out, okay? Everything they do is a cultic. Everything is for a reason. It's to glorify Satan. And I just wanted to say that, put that out there. Um, like I said, and like I said, I also have got comments where people said, you know, my, my son committed suicide and uh he you know 10 years ago and his favorite group was the smashing pumpkins and a lot of times i go in and put on billy corrigan or smashing pumpkins and it takes me back to, i have a feeling or i have a, this or that or a good memory a good feeling and blah 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 blah. are you saying that's satanic the mu that music satanic he's satanic yes you know do i you know um i understand why you listen to that song but that doesn't make it right um and it certainly, we certainly shouldn't be justifying this guy's sin and justifying him being a sis, wearing this 666, uh, you know, doing this uh, right here. What do you think? Like I said, with the light bear, Lucifer being the light bearer and the cross, which was Jesus was killed on. Um, it's occult symbolism, of course, with the black and white and red. I mean, you know, with the one eye symbol. I mean, all of it, it's occultic with an X and the guitar down here. He's got the 666, the enlightened head. I mean, the devil horns. I mean, come on now. This is satanic. It's evil. We're, we shouldn't be glorifying this. And my point of making this video is he's no truther. He's not going to tell you the truth. So don't think, oh, well, I've seen him on InfoWars and he's such a great guy. Or I, I watched a two-hour podcast of him on Howard Stern and he, you know, what a great guy. No, he's not a great guy, okay? And I, I don't want to say he's an evil person uh, inside because I don't know his, his heart. But I can tell you from his fruit, from what he puts out there, it's evil, it's ugly, it's disgusting, it's, it's nasty. It shows that he's not saved, and it shows that he's on his way headed for hell. So, you know, I'm going to re re reprove him, re uh, rebuke him, and uh, expose him. And uh, especially when you want to say that he's a Christian. Uh, that's, you know, no, 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 no. And... Like I said, I've had a numerous amount of people write me and say that this guy's a Christian and that he's bringing people to the Lord and this, that, and the other. Guys, just because somebody brings someone to the Lord, uh, or somebody, or, or if somebody says, "Oh, I was listening to Smashing Pumpkins and I was brought to," or I was watching a show with Billy Corgan, and, you know, he said he mentioned Jesus Christ and I got saved or whatever, or he he said that you should ask, he said that you should, he he said that you should believe in Jesus Christ, so um, I prayed a prayer and now I'm saved or whatever. Understand there's false conversions, okay? Just because, maybe that was not a good example, okay? Uh, say like a preacher who, you know, invites a hundred people in, you know, and they all, you know, he's like, oh, say this prayer. If you've never said this, you know, even if you've said this prayer before, let's say it again, you know, and then, you know, at the end of the congregation, you'd be like, hallelujah, we had 40 people come up, four people got saved. All 40 people that come up and said that prayer aren't saved. You know what I mean? So there are false, you know, confessions and false conversions and uh, things like that. So it's important to understand that just because uh, if somebody that's lost 
if you're listening to somebody that's lost, like the 700 club, people will say, like, I maybe that's maybe this is a better example for what I'm trying to say because I don't, I guess I don't always say everything perfect, but what I'm trying to say is if you're watching the 700 club every day and you're one of the people that are fooled by that and you think that that's what's, you know, that they're the ones telling you the truth and, re, and giving you the, and, and they're the ones you watching that show, you got saved. Uh, that's a, I would more than likely say that's a false confession watching that show. That those so people are all Freemasons. Those are all, and you know, I really will, will tell you mostly every pastor is a Freemason. To be honest with you, everybody that's high up in the, these churches, they're all Freemasons. They're all deacons. All the deacons, all the pastors, they're all Freemasons. These church buildings are filled with Freemasons, and instead of people chasing them out, and you know, they're welcomed in. So. But that's a whole nother story. I'm not going to get off on that story. My point is with this guy, like with everybody, I guess you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater per se as the saying goes. You know, it, it, it's, you know, it's like RV says, you know, just because, you know, somebody might be controlled opposition doesn't mean everything they put out is bad. They might put out one or two good pieces of truth that maybe you could share that truth to somebody else and uh and help maybe wake somebody up so i guess you got i guess the way i'm what i'm trying to say is you got to take the good with the bad sometimes right sometimes you got to just take the good and leave the rest right if they put out one or two good videos that that you like that i don't mean that you like but they, that's real truth and that you can you, you think you can bring some uh some, can get some fruit out of it you know then like i said that video and use it and leave the rest leave the bad stuff uh it's like that with the, a lot of these you know with any of these people you got to take the good and leave the bad um so with that said guys like i said you know it's been a minute since i went live i do apologize i've been so busy it's been really really hard i've had a hard time really finding time just to make videos to be honest with you um i try to make a video out and make a video and put it out every day that is tough it does take a while and uh like i said I hope everyone appreciates it. I just definitely appreciate all you guys. Let me see if there's anybody in the chat. I don't want to ignore anybody. Cool hanging out. Are you from Flint? Yeah, I'm from Flint, Flint, Michigan, born and raised. Uh, well, I, not really. I shouldn't say born. I was born in Flint, but I was more raised uh, in in the Montrose area. Um, so, but Genesee County, um, you know, really, I don't. I kind of live on the outskirts of Flint. I really don't even live in Flint. It's it's uh, Burton, really, a little bit better area. I live in a pretty good little area. Um, but anyways, it's kind of funny actually. People when people think Flint, they automatically have a bad perception. They think like everywhere in Flint is bad. Everywhere is just disgusting in Flint. There's a now if you go downtown, you know, or you know, obviously there's bad areas around there. But there's still some real pretty places in Flint. Some still some uppity places in Flint. Um, so, but anyways, yeah, I'm from Michigan, from Flint. Um, yep. Yes, sir. Oh, you live in Mount Morris? <laughs> not far at all. Not far at all from me. Yeah. That's funny. Tony's Cafe House. I'm not sure if I've ever seen you in here before. Um, anyways, like I said, guys, um, from Mount Morris, that's pretty cool. That's, that's not too far. I don't think I've met anybody that's been that close. Um, I think there was one other person that I met that was in Michigan, but yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, like I said, guys, it was important for me to, we should get together and have a talk. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, hopefully you're a follower in Christ and definitely, um, I, you know, try to have a live stream with, uh, with somebody from Texas, but, um, I, mean, I don't know. Like I said, he started messaging me and I thought he was a, a cool guy and stuff like that. Um, but he ended up having, I guess, a couple, some personal issues or whatever things he's dealing with. So hopefully we can plan to get, have a live stream and, and get some truth out there. Uh, I do my best, like I said, but I'm only one man and I certainly don't know everything. And, uh, I think a lot of people come to my channel and they think <laughs> that I, or they think that I present myself that way. And that's not true at all. I, uh, you know, just have discernment is really the way that I, only way that I can word it, you know, the Lord gives me discernment. And when I see something, I know what it is. And I, I, I do my own homework. I do my own research. I don't watch the news. You know, I don't, you know, it's kind of funny because I haven't, 
I never really have ever been one to watch the news, but ever since I've been woken up to the news, like it's, you know, I look at it, I'm like, I these guys are just total liars. Not only are they liars, but they're CIA agents that, you know, not only have taken oaths to, you know, lie to everybody, they'll never, you know, and they're all part of the club, but they get off on, you know, they literally get off on lying to the public. They think it's funny that people are so stupid. You know, they think it's hilarious. You know, that's the whole dupe and delight. They just think they can't believe that people are this dumb. And a lot of times, you know, I really ask myself because stuff's so blatant. Like nowadays, it's it's stuff so in your face. Like I was just doing uh, last video, I mean, not the last video, but the one I made before that. I was doing research and I came across, um, man, it must have been five or six pages where it was like a beauty contestant not beauty contestant, um, like, uh, I don't know, not award shows, but, uh, gosh, what's the word for it? I don't know, like those things where people can make their fits or whatever and present it. And it was satanic as it gets them. You know, I think even one of the articles said, you know, that they, you know, in vogue or whatever was apologizing that it was, you know, for that it honored Lucifer. But it was, I mean, every one of them were just pentagrams on their face wearing compasses everywhere, you know, devil horns, pyramids, uh, cubes of Saturn. I mean, it was unreal, the symbolism. And I'm like, how can somebody, I mean, are people really this dumbed down? I mean, I know the public school system does a good job at brainwashing people and dumbing them down and keeping them docile and not questioning things. And, you know, you don't question authority and you do what you're told and, you know, those type of things, but wow. You know, it just blows my mind that people could be that gullible. I mean, because some of this stuff, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to put together, you know. And then it's sad because some of the truthers, the people that actually are hungry and look, actually looking for the truth, they're lost. You know, they're believing in Q and Anonymous and so much ignorant stuff, you know. And, you know, I get people all the time, oh, what do you think of this person or what do you think of that person? I think they're controlled op. I don't even have to hear the name. A big channel, I know they're controlled opposition. You know, like I said earlier, like, or I guess what I was trying to say is that doesn't mean that everything they put out is like controlled. You know, like what I mean is like, I guess this would be a better example. Shaking my head productions, okay? Now, they're obviously, um, it's productions right in the name, right? They're obviously a professional setup, like a studio. Everybody's behind them. Somebody's funding them. Somebody's putting that together. Um, and they're allowed to play all, all kinds of copyrighted stuff all the way through. They play full commercials. Uh, they play so much stuff that somebody like me wouldn't have a chance for. My last channel, before I got shut down, I was almost, I think I was up to 720 subscribers. I'm not sure. I would have to check because I got like a thing when I got to like 700, I got an email or something. It's like, congratulations, you're at 700 people. You have enough subscribers to fill up a jumbo jet uh, plane or something like that. And I remember when they said, that, I was like, oh, wow, I never even thought about it. Like there's enough people to fill up a jumbo jet plane. That's pretty cool. But um, I got shut down and they shut me down for using uh, totally legal work. I had video clips of uh, NFL clips, you know, like obviously rigging, you know, players falling down on purpose. It was ridiculous, you know, and I was getting quite a, view, quite a bit of views on those videos. Some of them were up to like three, four, five thousand video, uh, three, four, five thousand views a video, and in one day I got taken down. I got three strikes. They hit me with three strikes in a row in a day. Now, I truly think this because I was putting out too much truth. They couldn't handle it, but I know now with this channel, I'm not going to do that. I don't. I make sure that I don't. Uh, play any of the sports clips or stuff like that or play i try not to play anything that's copyrighted on this channel just because i'm trying to get the truth out there and i don't want to give them any reason to flag my content my first live stream back because i had my like i said this was my backup channel this was never meant to be my main channel this is my backup channel uh, up until like two months ago when i lost my main channel probably three months ago now and uh when i realized that i couldn't get it back because they gave three strikes in one day which is kind of funny because other channels have like uh, a call for an uprising claim that they've gotten three strikes in one day 
and yet they still have their channels. And I can name a couple other people too that, you know, Shaking My Head Productions and a couple other people that, you know, their channels never got affected. Mine though, there's no way to get it back. You can't contact YouTube because I'm under a thousand subscribers. There's nobody you can get a hold of. Um, all my counter uh, appeals or whatever, my counters, you know, whatever efforts to try to get them to take my channel back up, you know, I, I, I lost them all, which makes sense because I'm legally entitled to do what I'm doing. I'm not getting paid for the work, of, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, it's for fair use, for educational purposes, and I would only use a clip. It wasn't like I was playing the whole game. I was playing a play or two. And if that, and a lot of times I would back it up to play like several times just to make sure that it, you know, and kind of mess with the, with the video just to make sure that it wasn't a normal playing video. So that way they couldn't say that. And I, and I would talk over the video and add graphics. So the only thing I can say is, like I said, I was putting out too much truth. Um, like I said, it was also the time that I attacked I don't want to say attack. I guess that's not a good word, but I um, put out a video exposing Brian Denlinger and it was right after that, that happened. So I don't know if he had anything to do with it or what, um, because I did put some videos out about him. Attacking is not a very good word. Exposing is a better word, but I guess either way, there's kind of the same thing, really. I mean, I, I'm not trying to attack anybody, but I do think it's important to put the truth out there. We are to do that. Um, and People are just flat out deceived. And if somebody's not going to put the truth out there, who is, you know, so, and I get it. They're going to try to take down as many channels of mine as they can. That's why I try to make sure I always have a backup channel and, you know, no matter what, they're not going to stop me. I have a lot of my work saved, so I'll just keep re-uploading it. And I don't mind starting over. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me whether I have five subscribers or 500. It don't matter whether I get 50 views or whatever. Um, the truth is the truth. Um, and like I said, people that should hopefully share it and get it out there. And I know the whole struggle that I'll play trying to wake up our families, trying to uh, enlighten our friends and loved ones. It's it's a game that seems impossible because they're programmed from crazy birth. And it's kind of hard to break that spell a lot of times, you know. When people are plugged in, I guess, as they say, it's kind of hard to unplug them, especially later on in life. A lot of times people that are younger – you can take them and mold them, especially the, the real youth, like the youth youth, you know, people from thir you know, 10 to 18, 22 or whatever. That's why a lot of the elites are, you know, even Hitler said, give me a, a, a generation, one generation of youth and I'll take over the whole world, you know, because that's all it takes is one generation of youth and then the rest will follow. So they're pretty much have accomplished what they want to accomplish. I mean, right now is the time we just got to get the truth out there because, you know, I don't know how much time any of us have, you know, that we have left before anything gets really, really bad. But, you know, which none of nobody does, but I know that it's 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 becoming shorter and shorter, you know, the longer we go <laughs> from, you know, when the days when Jesus comes back or. You know, or when things just get really, really bad, you know, like it almost did a couple of years ago. Things, you know, can get really bad quick if they decide to play a certain card, I guess. I, I don't know. But, yeah, you know, your guess is as good as mine. The people out there that watch my channel, you know, none of us really know what's going to happen. All we can try to do is be prepared, uh, try to share the truth, you know, and uh, stay in the word. That's what I do. You know, I try to make sure that I live the right way, lead by example, not be a hypocrite. That's very, very important to me. Very, very important. Most people, like I said, it's it's, it's hard because honestly, there's not many people that I have much in common with anymore because everybody's so lost, you know, and even my own family, you know, they think I'm old fashioned, you know, my sisters and you know, even my brother when he was alive, they, you know they thought it was okay to go get tattoos and go out to the bar and go out and live like the lost world. I am not for that. And I haven't been like that. I've lived as a, as a family man, uh, you know, as I'm supposed to. And, uh, you know, they call me old fashioned or call me this, call me that. But really, you know, I'm living how we're called to do. I'm living by the standards. They don't see nothing wrong with going out and getting drunk every night, you know, or I shouldn't say every night, but you know, 
you know how a lot of people do it. They live in sin and make excuse for it, you know. And it's funny because then they'll say, and I, and I believe it, you know, I know we all fall short, but a lot of people say uh, they'll use that as an excuse, you know. They'll say, oh, well, we all fall short, blah, 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 none of us are perfect. Yeah, but that's no excuse sin. We should not justify sin, you know. Yeah, we all fall short, but that's no excuse, you know, to live in sin or, you know, to make an excuse for doing something I'm not supposed to do. But I guess everybody's different and people, you know, nobody wants to be judged. You know, it's, it's really the do what thou wilt mindset. It's, it's that satanic mindset, exactly like, um, not Aleister Crowley. Yeah, that was Aleister Crowley, right? Uh, or was it LaVey, Anton LaVey? Anyways, I think it's Anton LaVey that said, you know, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. No, it's Aleister Crowley, my fault. Anyways, um, that's what it is. They don't want to be judged. They want to do what, the, hey, just let me do what I want. I do my thing. You do your thing. You don't judge me. I don't judge you. You know, they teach about all this acceptance and all this tolerance, but really they're not tolerant of all. If you tolerant of you at all, if you have a different uh, view or belief than them, you know, if you are, you know, against this or against that, or, you know, you stick up for the stands of the Bible, you're old fashioned, you know, you, uh, you know, you know, or they'll say, don't judge, you know, they'll say, oh, the Bible says don't judge. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says don't hypocritically judge, right? The Bible says we're supposed to righteously judge. We're called to judge. You know, now, if you're talking about the lost world, that's different. But the saved body of Christ, the people that claim to be Christians, the people, claim, the people that claim to be saved, now that we are absolutely called to judge them by their fruit, and we're called to judge righteously. But we cannot be in hypocritical judgment. And the they always love to stop at that verse where it says, you know, um, don't judge your brother or don't judge your neighbor for the moat in his eyes, for you surely don't see the boulder in your own. They they leave it. They stop there and they try to make it fit into their beliefs and into their sermon or what they're preaching, you know, and it's not what they, they need to, you know, with everything, there's, with, there's a context, right? And uh, we have to understand that context. <laughs> and the rest of that verse says, you know, you ha you go to remove the the mo out of your eyes, then you judge your neighbor, right? And a good example of that, like I was just saying about my sisters who like to go out to the bar every night. Now, if I'm someone that goes out to the bar every night and drinks, I'm then I shouldn't be sitting there telling my chastising and rebuking my sisters and and you know lovingly obviously, but I shouldn't be sitting there telling them, hey, it's wrong for you to go out to the bar and and, and drink every night. Because they're going to say, wow, are you hypocrite? You go out to the bar every night and drink. So that's the point of what it's saying. We're not supposed to hypocritically judge. That's the whole point of when the Bible says the standard you will be, that, you, that you judge by is what is the standard that you will be judged by. And that standard is God's word, King James Bible. That's God's word. And that can't be altered. It can't be changed. That's God's perfect word. And that's your standard to judge people by. It's That's what you judge people by. And if you judge people by that standard, that's the standard you're going to be judged by. That's what that means. It doesn't mean don't judge, right? People love that. Nobody, and if you, if you try to convict people or tell people anything like, hey, this is wrong or we shouldn't be doing this or we shouldn't be doing that, that's the first thing they'll do. Hey, man, don't judge, man. We all fall short, man. We all, we're, we all, we're all sinners, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, all, they're quick to throw that at you. Like, yeah, we all... You know, and it's funny because these people that claim to be Christians, I mean, they just, a lot of them, a lot of people, and that's why I don't like the term Christian. I call myself a Bible believer. I'm a, Bi a King James Bible believing man. That's what I am. Uh, I don't throw my name, my the label on myself Christian, but a lot of people, um, you know, that call themselves Christians or say that they're saved, they're cussing, swearing, doing this, doing that. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you're never going to cuss again if you're saved. Now, I understand, obviously, if you're walking and you stub your toe and, you know, accident, you know, hit it or you break your toe or something, or something like that, you know, it hurts real bad. And accidentally, you know, you say a bad word real quick, you know, uh, I get it. You were human. Like, and I don't even like the word human, but you get where I'm going with that. We're all people, right? We're all so I get that, but a saved person, like somebody like that rat truthner, that Pat truthner claiming to be a Christian, every other word out of his mouth is a cuss word. 
Every other word was a swear word, talking about doing all these drugs, snorting this, snorting that, smoking this, smoking that, selling this, doing, uh, popping this, you know, dropping that. I mean, you would talking about invoking all these demons, talking about who he's having his, you know, sexual relations with and just crazy stuff. And yet he's a Christian and people fall for it because I get attacked all the time. People come in here because I made a video, obviously exposing him because he's obviously from Michigan too. And it's kind of funny because I guess I'll touch on the story. But um, when I first got started, um, I, you know, like I said, he was in a live stream and I, and I, we were talking, you know, back and forth and he was acting all cool and nice and acting like, you know, oh yeah, Flint, you're dropping a lot of truth. You're dropping a lot of knowledge. You know, you're dropping a lot of treasure. You know, I, I appreciate you. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, I got to go. And then I guess when I left, he started talking about me again because I have the live stream. And uh, I was like, really? What a little punk. He ended up blocking me. And this was all because of a comment that I made like an hour later after the live stream. He uh, got mad because somebody in the comment wrote something about rep reptilians. And I said, there's no such thing as reptilian. I was like, first of all, I said, you, under you need to understand when liars are lying to you. There's demonic spirits. There's demonic ent you know, entities that people that can inhabit a person's body. That's what that is. It, there's no such thing as reptilians. There's not underground reptilians and lizards and lizard people and all that weird, you know, <laughs> that's ridiculous. There, you know, this is, it's but whatever, you know, he's the type, type of person that probably believes and pushes aliens too, you know, but which is kind of funny, which aliens, the so-called picture of an alien uh, looks exactly like the demonic being Lom that Aleister Crowley drew of, but yeah, of course, of course, it's not it's not a demonic being though; it's a reptilian. Like whatever. So I tried commenting on there, putting some truth on there, like, hey, you know, don't be deceived. You know, understand it's not that re reptilian is a you know it's a a false term. Uh, it, that person isn't a reptilian. Their you know their body is being inhabited by a demonic spirit. They're uh, you know they're allowing their body to be a host to a demonic spirit to a demonic host, and that's what that is. They're not. Um, you know, so it just, it, you know, that's what started it. And so he got all mad, I guess, about that comment and blocked my channel. From, so I couldn't comment no more on his stuff and whatever. And, um, I didn't know that he blocked me. I didn't even know that he got mad. He was live again. Uh, I seen he was live and I was like, Oh, Pat's live. I'm going to go in there and try to talk to him. I thought he was cool. The first time I talked to him, it was so crazy. As soon as I clicked it, I went to go sign in his room. I couldn't comment. I was like, that's weird. Well, this, my backup channel, uh, I'm like, well, maybe it's a glitch with YouTube. I was like, I'll try my backup channel. You know, I was trying to give him grace, give him benefit of the doubt. Like, you know, thinking, you know, he, you know, he, why would he do that? You know, I thought maybe it was a, it was a glitch. It was a mistake. And uh, so I, I'm like, hey, man, sorry, I'm having trouble with my channel, uh, my other channel. I, but I was trying to come in and, and, and say hi. And he was like, oh. There, he's like speaking of the devil that's just who i was talking about about fake people and blah 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 blah. i'm like what and i had no idea why he would say that because i first of all didn't know this guy from adam from eve and only talked to him for a few minutes and the last time we spoke he was talking about how i was dropping truth and and, and all this knowledge well according to him i was spamming up the comments and i'm like really i'm having a conversation with a couple people in the chat how am i spamming when they're asking my opinion Am I not supposed to comment back? Like how ridiculous, right? Well, I ended up going back and watching that live stream and watched it. He absolutely like just called me all kinds of names and said this, said that. So I told him in that live stream, I said, you know what, bro? I said, I don't know why you have a problem with me. I don't know why all of a sudden you switched up. I said, but I'm going to look into you and see, uh, I'm going to examine your fruit. You claim to be a Christian. I said, if you're a Christian and you just don't like me and it just is what it is, I said, fine, whatever. I said, but if you're a fake Christian and I find that you're just a fraud, I said, I'm going to expose you. And he laughed. He was like, oh, you're going to expose me because I only had like three or four or five subscribers at the time. I said, yeah, bro, I'm going to I'm going to expose you. And at the time I was using a real crappy laptop and it was I didn't do the greatest job. I mean, I did what everything I said was right on point and I did a good job, I guess to the point of really it was just him talking the videos where he exposed himself i just took his words uh i mean not his words but his uh his video clips of him talking and played his video clips and showed that he this guy isn't a christian 
Well, he got on big time mad about that and did all, you know, had all kinds of people like stalk my channel, would come into my channel all the time. Oh, Pat Truthner's a real Christian. You're a fake and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, yeah. Well, then he, you know, stay on his channel and see how much truth you get. The guy sits there and lies to him for five, six hours and doesn't tell you nothing. Doesn't give you no truth. Oh, yeah. The Illuminati. Yep, yep, yep. The NFL's fake. Yep, the NFL's rigged. Give him some truth. Give him some fruit. Give him some knowledge. Drop something on him, you know? And hey, he's not telling nothing because he's controlled opposition, former military, and, uh, you know, I, I seen exactly through him exactly for what he was. Man, he sent so many, like, people to my channel for the longest time. They would spam my comments, troll my comments. It was comical, actually, to be honest with you. People, they would even pretend to be my friend. They'd be like, hey, bro, I just want to let you know that uh, Pat Truthner uh, is going to try to expose you. So if you say anything or do anything, but I was like, well... I appreciate your so-called, um, you know, what do you call it? Respect or whatever for trying to tell me, you know, but um, I was like, I'm not worried about anything that guy says. I was like, you know, I live the way I'm supposed to. Uh, I'm doing the Lord's work. And so unless I start, you know, living in sin, you know, I'm not worried about it because there's nothing for him to expose me on. I don't say anything that I'm not supposed to say. Uh, I don't, not cussing. I do nothing but put the truth out there. Uh, so if he wants to try to expose me, let him try to expose me. He can't say anything, but you know, wow, this guy's a real Christian. Wow. This guy told the truth. If he said anything else than that, he's a liar. So, but anyways, like I said, the guy even, and I'll end it here. He even tried buying me off. He even sent me, uh, money on cash app and was like hey bro please just take the videos down i'm so sorry i said anything i started something that i shouldn't have started and blah 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 and i told him in the very beginning i said bro i said you think you're picking with some low-hanging fruit you think you're picking on somebody just because i don't have no subscribers you don't think i know what i'm doing you don't think i can articulate myself i said you're messing with the wrong person i said because i'm gonna look at your fruit and i'm gonna expose you and he laughed well, he found out that I was telling the truth, that I did exactly what I said. Not sure who that guy is. Yeah, it, it, his name is Pat Truth. And he's just, you can look him up if you want to. I don't recommend him to anybody, to be honest with you. But everybody's free to do what they want. He uh, supposedly makes rigged NFL videos. And like I said, um, it was weird because, like I said, I, I kind of thought, you know, wow, it's, it's cool. This guy's talking. I guess you can't be fooled by somebody that just mentions Christ, you know, because I, I was new to YouTube and uh, just made my video or my channel. And like I said, I uh, was just trying to be nice, you know, because it was not many other people talk about Christ, talk about the Lord, mention the Bible. He was the first person. And I was like, oh, wow, he's from Michigan. And he actually, is a, 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 you know, believes in the Bible. I'm like, oh, that's great. I'm like, I'm going to try to go on his live stream and see if, you know, we can have some fellowship, see if we can have some conversations, you know, and see where it takes me. And then obviously, like I said, the first day it was fine. Like, I, you know, I, I thought we had a decent conversation. That's what I thought. But I guess because I said something about, I, I guess maybe he got offended because I said, if you believe in reptilians, you're a baby truther. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I truly, and I, and like I said, because like four or five people have other, have exposed him since I exposed him. And they've even used some of my videos. Um, in their video like of exposing him and uh so i don't know he's just he's just a shill like i said i just i think that he just was controlled op and he don't want nobody putting the truth out there because that's not what the goal is the goal isn't to put truth out there for all these shills you know they don't want that they're you know they're trying to, to baby truth people and just you know mention the illuminati or say something fake and then people are just supposed to believe that they're real even though they're not showing any proof, giving any, you know, they, they wouldn't do that because that would be violating their oath. A good example of that would be like Larry Johnson. You know how he came out and Benny Cunningham, how they come out with these videos saying the NFL is scripted and it's rigged and this, that, and the other. And people think they're hero, heroes. They're like, oh, man, finally this guy, because he, he was on there talking about Jesus or something. And they're like, oh, this guy's a Christian. He's talking about Jesus. He's saying that they all serve Satan. He's saying that this is scripted and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, look at the so apple doesn't fall far from the tree this guy's his word his video wouldn't be out there being seen by millions and millions of people if it wasn't meant to it's just like that adeline child guy from the x factor that old x factor winner he made a five-hour video 
about Freemasonry and all this other stuff. And he really didn't, in five hours, he didn't say that much. I mean, unless you're kind of new to truth, and then maybe you would be like, wow, to be like, wow, like I've never seen this before. But somebody like me that's been doing it since, you know, I've been into it just shortly after 2011. I would say at the end of 2011 is when my truth journey started. So I've been in it for a long time. So I've heard a lot of things and I've seen a lot of things. So I wasn't surprised by anything he said. There was nothing that he's, you know, I um, have shown a lot of the Masonic oaths myself and I plan on um, showing a lot more because I had, like I said, a lot of their books. So um, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, it's not important. Like I said, um, he was just pretending that he was, oh, that was what I was going to say. I was like, I know I had a point that I was getting to. Sorry, guys. Uh, I had had a text at the same time. But um, he was pretending that he's put out all this information, Adeline Childs. And I got some, I get people all the time, you know, hey, what do you think about Adeline Childs? Like, go watch his video. He puts out a lot of, tr you know, all this truth. And, you know, if you go watch his video, you'll finally see how the world is. And I'm like, well, I appreciate the recommendation. But I, first of all, I've watched the video four or five times now. And that's no exaggeration. And, um, Second of all, I don't think he added that much that I didn't already know, you know, or didn't already see. Now, there might be one or two things. I'm sure there was a few things that, you know, I was like, oh, okay. And I went, you know, but for the most part, I mean, for five hours, he didn't say a whole, whole lot. But my whole point of mentioning him is he was controlled opposition. He's meant to push this out, meant to act like he's breaking his satanic oath, his Masonic oath, maybe to act like he's giving you guys true substance. You know, so you can trust them and believe them. Because if he would just come out and say, hey, this is what they're doing, believe me, people aren't going to listen. So he's got to say, hey, I was a part of them. Here's my oath. This is what I did. You know, that's how you get recognition. It's just like the Alex Jones thing, how he broke into supposedly Bohemian Grove and, and, and shed a light on all everything that was going on in there. Right. That was they, that was made to happen. You know, just like Mark Geist, they pick certain people and that's their that's their role. That's their goal. They're gatekeepers, you know, and that's the same thing with Pat Truthner. He was a gatekeeper, right? Him and Lobo, uh, which are like the two biggest people that do uh, rigged NFL or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they were buddy buddies and they were not, they don't say like nothing, like no truth. Like if you go in there and they live stream for hours. So if you go in there, if they have the camera on sitting on them while they're sitting at a computer and they're not telling, they're talking, like they're not telling you any information. I could see like if they were actually talking and like saying, hey, well, go here and look at this or look at this or do this or do that. They're talking. And if somebody mentions in the comments, they'll like try to act like, you know, if somebody sends a super chat or something like that. So that way they have to look at it. You know what I mean? Or then they'll kind of like, oh, yeah, Illuminati, whatever, you know, and, and then they keep rolling. Like, you know, they won't mention it, you know, which that's just a code word anyways. Uh, Illuminati, you know what I mean? That's just like conspiracy theory. That's just a code word to shut people's mind down. Now, obviously, the Illuminati exists, and there obviously are Illuminists, um, you know, and then people think that was started by Adam Weisenhoff, but it, it actually goes goes back further to him. But, um, yeah, these people are just controlled opposition. Like I said, the government's going to control control every corner and every angle and people need to understand that youtube is no different all right they own and control everything and they're not going to let anybody but their puppets um put any information out think about it they own and control the youtube if somebody puts some real truth out they could i mean the internet they could shut down the whole internet make sure nobody got nothing shut your phone down shut, you know everything and never get that information if somebody tried to really deflect and put truth out there they're not they're in charge of everything so if something's getting attention, if it's getting spotlight, if it's, you know, if it's allowed to be seen, understand that was meant to happen. It's meant to happen for a reason, you know, but a lot of people can't accept that, you know, they don't believe it, but it's the truth. And uh, like I said, all you can do, I, I'm just saying, you know, the whole, you can lead a human uh to knowledge but you can't make them think which is really just uh, you can lead a horse to, to water but you can't make them drink but that's so true you can lead a human to knowledge can't make them think and i've found that out and it's sad because a lot of these people it's not that they're dumb people you know a lot of people they are taught one thing their whole life they go to college they go to school learn one thing and that's all they know you know they live eight ten hours twelve hours a day every day working the same job, 
30, you know, 30 plus years, they don't have, you know, think about it. They work eight, 10 hours a day. The last thing that they want to do is go home and, you know, after being tired and working hard all day is turning on their, you know, or opening a book or turning on their computer and going to a website and getting some real knowledge and fruit. They don't want that. They want to kick their feet back up. They want to pop up a beer and sit on the couch and turn a movie on, turn the news on, whatever. You know? And uh, it's it's sad, you know. I understand it in a way because you're stuck in the matrix. You don't know no better. You're working your life away. You're you're a slave to the system, you know. But that's no excuse, you know. The truth's out there. Everybody should be doing their best to look into it. They should be doing their best to you know, make sure they're doing their own research, you know, come into their own, con you know, and this is another thing is if we all should have this outlook. If you believe something one way, if you believe something and you're another set of information is brought to you that proves that what you thought is wrong and, and, and that, and that proof and that information is true and it's verifiable, we should have no problem coming to new conclusions. We shouldn't be so stuck so ingrained on our own pride and ego and we're that we can't admit that we were wrong we can't admit that we got duped you know we all of us are you know none of us are infallible from not being duped we you know i put it like this born again barbarian you know i'm obviously a big bible believer i'm big king james bible believer and i'm very big about um living a certain way and i really appreciated brian denlinger's um, I appreciated that his wife wore dresses and that she wasn't, you know, dressing in pants, you know, I, I appreciated a lot of the ways that he preached, you know, and a lot of the stands that he took. So I followed him for a while. And like I said, I, I honestly, 2016 or 17, I can't remember when it was because my mom and my brother had passed like right around that time. So my, it's kind of confusing for me, but I, right around that time, a red flag came up for me. He's something he put out because I've been following him since like 2013 or 2012 and uh, I've even donated to his ministry. Um, so like I said, I, I was duped. I'm making videos on the guy exposing them, you know? So it's none of us are, you know, perfect or irrefutable, you know, you know, all of us are capable of being duped and we can't let our pride and ego say, well, oh, I'm not going to say and talk about this person because I, I endorsed him at one time and it'll make me look bad if I, uh, you know, say how I feel. No, I will never do that. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm going to tell the truth. You know, we're all capable of being duped. You know, like I said, I don't remember what the exact red flag was going. On. I think it was when he was started talking about interracial marriage, if I if I remember right. Because I'm sitting here thinking, like, wait a minute, hold up. You're you say that you, I don't get it. You say that you're for, uh, you you know, you're not for people mixing races and this, that, and the other, because it's a culture thing or excuse me, because of, because you think their culture is beautiful and that every kindred should be with their kind, we all come back to two people. We all come back to Adam and Eve. So if we all come back to two people, then how would it be against the Bible for us? You know I mean? We all we all share the same DNA. We all would be come from the same people. You know what I'm saying? We would all share the same ancestor lineage pretty much because we would all come back from the same two people. So I don't understand how he can preach that the Bible would be for against uh, interracial marriage. Now, what the Bible is talking about when it says don't be unequally yoked, which he takes this Bible out of context, it's talking about not being with somebody that's in unbelief. And, uh, you know, uh, someone that's a believer is not supposed to marry an unbeliever, you know, and a uh, culture is a big reason why, um, you know, you aren't maybe or shouldn't be marry somebody if somebody doesn't have the same culture as you yes you should not marry that person but if somebody um, was born in america and you know what i mean or whatever we don't none of us choose our race none of us choose our skin color so to judge somebody by that or to say that we can't uh, marry somebody else like i think that's ridiculous you know um if that if that person saved and shares the same beliefs as you and has the same culture as you uh, I don't believe that the Bible's against that. Now I've listened to everything, all his sermons that he's had against it, and I don't. I've always disagreed with him and what he said there, and I always disagree with his interpretation of that Bible verse. So, 
I think that was one what started me questioning Brian. And then there was little things that he would do where I would say, hey, I don't quite agree with this, with him with this on that or this on that. But his foundation's there, and I, I like a lot of his core things that he sits for. He puts a lot of Bible truth out, and the man's very smart. He knows a lot about the Bible. So, like I said, at one time when he was needed money for his ministry, I donated $600 to him foolishly, stupidly. Um, now I can look back and say that. I thought that I was uh, donating to a ministry where I got my fruit. And, you know, that wasn't, you know, didn't turn out to be the case, you know. I do still, I am still subscribed to him and I still watch his videos because I do believe that there is some work he does that's fantastic. And I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. So people ask me all the time, you expose Brian and you say that he's a CIA agent and you say he's this and you say he's that. I'm Yes, I'm trying to expose him. I'm trying to put the truth out there. But does that mean that his Bible sermon on this chapter or this chapter is wrong? No, it doesn't take away his interpretation of the Bible. I mean, not interpretation, excuse me, his reading of the Bible. Him, when he reads the Bible and, and, you know, as long as he's not, sometimes he messes it up, like I said, on purpose. And I realize that he's using that Jesuitical sophistry, you know, trying to confuse people. Um, I don't watch that type of stuff. I, I don't support that. Like I said, I try to expose him when I see him do things like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that everything Brian does is bad. You know, I believe he's an occultist. I believe he's connected. I believe he's a Jesuit or he's got Jesuitical ties or they are paying, not, not, or he's got Jesuitical ties and they are paying him. His wife flat out admitted that her parents are high ranking Jesuits and that they're CIA trained. She said that she was going to a Jesuit college, was high up in military intelligence, so far so that she had, was a CIA agent uh, who had graduated spook school, um, and that she was in military intelligence, and um, she was a member of the FBI and, F and CIA. And she said she had high-ranking security clearances. Come on now. You don't just give those clearances to somebody who's just going to say, oh, I default. I'm going to be a Christian now. No, they vet those people very, very well. They know their, their history. They know their parents' history. They know, and they're not going to just, so she's playing a role, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and he is too. Now, that saddens me. That hurts my heart because I thought that he was a fellow brother in Christ. I thought he was somebody that was putting, you know, real truth out there, was living the right way, and I was trying to support that uh, the best that I could. You know, I'm obviously a poor man. I'm I don't, you know, I'm not rich, I guess I should say, I'm, you know, I'm, I shouldn't say poor because I'm not poor. I'm rich with love, you know, uh, which is what matters to me. Monetarily, money thing does, isn't what makes you rich. So I shouldn't say that. But as, I, I mean, I'm not well off, I guess I would say, as far as money wise, you know. Yeah, my house is paid off. Uh, I own my own house. And, you know, I got a motorcycle outside. You know, I have a couple cars in the driveway. So I'm, I'm not hurting. You know, we homeschool our kids. <laughs> So I'm not hurting, obviously, but I'm not rich by any means, um, you know, and I work hard for everything I get. Like I said, I work a lot of hours and uh, struggle, you know, to do what I do, you know, to put the put the videos out and make time, you know, for, every, for my kids and everything like that. So I understand all the work that goes into it. That's why I was trying to support someone like Brian. Plus, I believe, you know, the Bible says the workman's worthy of his wages, and if you get your fruit there, you should support that. And like I said, I believe that I was getting a lot of fruit from Brian. And it, like I said, it hurts my heart that he, he, you know, that he, that I believe he's controlled opposition. But like I said, I just want, I want to make that clear because people do ask me that. And I guess since I'm addressing a few things in this live stream, I guess I'll say that, you know, that because I get that every day, people will say, well, you talk against him, but yet you're subscribed to him. You know what I mean? It's like, just because I'm saying somebody, you know, I might think that RV Truth is a uh, controlled opposition. I'm subscribed to him too. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that about RV Truth. I'm just saying, I might think that about him, you know, but I'm subscribed to him, you know? I personally believe that anybody with a big channel that's allowed to get a big channel, I believe they're controlled opposition. You know, and if you're allowed to stay on YouTube this long, if you're getting interviews, like RV's got interviews with some of the biggest people there is. Now, yes, I like RV. I'm even a Patreon of him. I even support him on Patreon. But 
I'm telling you, the guy has connections and he's got, he's interviewing with Bam, uh, what's that guy's name? I can't think of his name, but he's a big occultist, a big Satanist, being one of the uh, guys, you know, from Johnny Knoxville or whatever and all that show. But he's definitely um, getting all these interviews from people. And like I said, he's getting interviewed with Jaronism constantly. And I think a lot of the fighting that they do back and forth can tribe. You know, like I'll tell you that right now with the pastors, like with Brian Denlinger and uh, Robert Breaker and Patrick the Baptist. I'm going to do a study on those guys and I'm going to show you the numerology that comes back to them. It's nuts. Every single one of them, uh, their names come back 44. It's unreal. Brian Denlinger's name equals 44 in numerology. Born again, a barbarian equals 44 in numerology. I mean, it's crazy. Like the, you know, and I'm not just that. Steven Anderson, um, Jason Cooley, Jeff Arnold. I mean, so many of these big, you know, you name it. Dick uh, or David Daniels. Uh, there was somebody named Dick too. Dick something. I'm not sure his last name. I have to look it up on my thing, but all their names come back to 44. I mean, it's crazy the notes. They're all they're all connected. What's my name? Uh, I'm confused. It says, oh, Tony, right? <laughs> I would I would guess it would be Tony if I was guessing. Oh, in numerology, Tony's Coffee House. Let me see. Are you asking generally or do you want? All right, hold up. Tony's. Oh, shoot. <laughs> 77 <laughs> funny good one there but yeah it, the, the 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 links that these guys go to is it kind of blows your mind sometimes but uh you threw me off with that one there tony i thought you were talking about your first name um but yeah, anyways, I was saying that I believe that their arguments are fake, like where he, he pretends to go back and forth with Jaronism or David Weiss or uh, who's the other guy he, he kind of started it. I just believe it's, it's, it's is it ways is that good. Uh, I don't know what your motives or intentions are. 777, seven, seven, technically, I guess, is what it would be. Um, I don't know you. I'm not going to judge you. I don't know enough about you to just say your name equals that. You know, what if you pick that? What if that's the name of your business and you had no idea? I'm not going to throw, I'm not going to throw on you. I'm just not going to. I don't know enough about you. Like I said, with me, it's not one thing. I don't come to a conclusion with someone about one thing. It's several things. And uh, we all should be that way. One thing, just because someone flashes one hand sign, you know, doesn't mean that they're a part of a secret society or a cult right but if they're doing it constantly and they're doing this and they're doing that and their name equals up to this maybe or that or this or you know you can do the math put two and two together i mean we're all supposed to have discernment um so like i said you know nobody you know and like i said a lot of these people like you know say his name is brian denlinger you know like say he didn't pick that and his parents gave him that right well i find it very odd that his screen name comes up to that Steven Anderson's screen name comes up to that. Patrick Baptist's screen name comes up to that. I mean, and not only them, like Robert Breaker, his name is obviously Robert's 33, Breaker's 33, so you get 66. Um, so you get the dual 33s. But, I mean, David Daniels is 55, the guy from uh, Chick Flax. Peter Ruckman's 55. David Spurgeon, uh, you know, I mean, you can just go on and on. Um, Matthew Conrad, Kirk Cameron's 55. Uh, Paul Wittenberg's 55, Howard Stern's 55, which he's not a pastor, but um, I mean, you you know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy. It's unreal. Eric J. Phelps, Robert Charles, Gino Jennings, uh, Kent Hoven is 44. That's bananas. I mean, and then like 77, like your screen name, Eric John Phelps, Alpha and Omega Ministries, uh, King James Video Ministries and scariest movie ever and now and that's only a couple people that i've wrote down you know what i'm saying i there's it's just crazy the the, the links that they that people go to uh, it can't be coincidence a call for an uprising is 88 oliver denlinger is 88 so i mean there's just so much man it's when you get into the numerology part of it like i said but i believe that their arguments are definitely contrived man 
weirds me out. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know how you came up with that name, Tony's Coffee House. You maybe that's a business. Maybe that was your dad's business. Maybe that was somebody. You know, I don't know. So, and I'm not asking. So, <laughs> anyways, like I said, the point of uh, really the live stream was just to shed a little bit of light on Billy Corgan. I kind of jumped all over, and I do that a lot in my live streams. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Really, I kind of have a lot. <laughs> right, I set up seven seven seven. That's weird. Yeah, I know. Right. I just had to do a thing on that Rose 777, like, you know, like I said, I, I know these people are connected, you know, I have discernment, and uh, it's not just one thing, it's several things that point me in that direction with these people, and, uh, you know, like I said, long as, uh, long as I've been doing the numerology thing, putting people's names in, it's, it's crazy how much stuff comes back to you know, the numbers, they really do put a lot of effort to uh, code things with the, with numbers. And it's something that most of the world will never catch on to. They'll never understand it. You know, even with somebody like RV, who just would like the number, say just the number 33, you know, where he's constantly showing the number 30, where he, he's for years shown the number 33 everywhere, connected with everything, you know, even with just like things we eat, hot dogs, hamburger, uh, pizza, right? It's all 33. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, it's crazy the, the, the lengths that they go to, to ingrain their numerology, their numbers, you know, Pythagoras said all is numbers. And they truly believe that. <laughs> I changed my name many times. But that's cool. I didn't, uh, I can't, I have to look later. I didn't really see your picture or nothing like that. Or is it Chucky? I guess I can't see. I don't want to butcher it. Is it, is it coffee or? I don't know. It's hard to see because right now I'm on the um, StreamYard screen, so it doesn't show a whole lot. It just shows the chat. But, um, yeah, it's kind of odd that, that he has all those, RV has all those, interviews with everyone that's connected i mean he even had a mason on the other day and it was obvious that the guy was connected i mean connected connected and don't get me wrong the dude was he could art, he could articulate himself very very well check it out join last time yeah that'd be cool man definitely be cool you sound like you're uh knowledgeable about some things I, like i said i've been looking for someone to do a live stream with I just don't want to do it with anybody, though. I mean, obviously, I mean, I could do that if I wanted to do it with anybody. I want to do it with somebody that actually can add a few things that can shed light on a few things. Um, I'm a talker, so it's, <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, that would be, that'd be fun. Be good. Uh, good to get some truth out there. That's for sure. But uh, like I said, man, I appreciate it. Like I, said, I was trying to think if I've seen you in a live stream before. I, I almost think that I have seen you in another live stream. But then again, I, I'm not sure, but I don't know. I haven't went live very often lately, so maybe I have, maybe I have. And I think it might even been a month since I went live. I'm not sure. Um, I think I think this one might even been scheduled since April, to be honest with you. Not April, sorry, May. Um, but and I kind of wanted to. I had a bunch of pictures and stuff of uh, and and tabs up with him I, that I was gonna go through, but. I mean, there's no sense. People either get it or they're not. People, they'll always find a way to fight you on. You know, you can show them all the proof and evidence in the world and they'll still fight you. They'll still find a way to, you know, try to win the argument, I guess. And, you know, I don't have time for those type of people. You know, I'm my goal isn't to sit here and argue with somebody. Uh, I try to enlighten people. I try to... Um, put the truth in front of them and then let them take it for what it is. You know, if you say, Hey, I, I, you know, Hey, I agree with you on a lot of points, Dan, or, but I don't agree with you on everything. You know, I think that's how we all should be because if somebody agrees with someone on everything, I mean, that's kind of weird, right? That's kind of cultish, right? You're not supposed to agree with everything. You know, we're supposed to have differences. That's what makes us, you know, so like I said, I, I think it's fine if people have a couple differences of opinion, but if I put some truth in front of people and you reject all of it, well, then I'm obviously going to question you, you know, like a lot of times I get people, 
oh, thanks for the laugh, you know, when I'm putting the stuff out there. I'm like, what are you laughing at? You laughing at yourself? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm putting the truth out there. Like, nothing funny about it, you know? But some people, it's like I said earlier, it's like the word conspiracy theory. It, it's a trigger with people, you know? And that's exactly what conspiracy theory is. It's actually a CIA code word that they came up with in the 1960s because they knew people were going to dismiss the moon landing. So for anybody that dismissed the moon landing, they had a term for them that they were going to coin them conspiracy theorists. And that is a trigger word that is supposed to shut people's minds down as soon as they hear that word. They're going to shut and tune you out as soon as you bring up, oh, conspiracy theorists, or he's a conspiracy theorist, or, or, or have you heard this conspiracy or that, this conspiracy. And, you know, I don't even like that word because it, it kind of taints what it, whatever information that you, you know, whatever you say. You know, it doesn't really matter the light that you even shed it in because it, it taints it to a lot of people. So... Anyways, to make a look, I gave up. I gave you my email. Look up. I gave you my email. Gotcha. Cool. Let me write it down real quick, and then I'll send you my email. I'm gonna get off here, guys. I got things to do, obviously, as we all do. So. Nice talking with you. Look forward to chatting in the future and hope everybody has a good day. Take it easy. I take it that's at Google, right? Or or Yahoo. I guess you don't know anymore. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, guys. I appreciate you.